she's got a good, she's got a really good solid technique for taking it in nice and sharp. Um, just, just like that. Anything from half court, she's nice pretty solid. Good. Right on, Keefe, that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good start for me. Yeah, I like, I like how she's got that little bit of extra power at the front, and just how she can generate that racket head speed to get the ball through to the back of the court. Mm. Yeah, she just set up nice and uh, nice and open as well, and she's look, looking to cut the ball in. It, we talked quite a bit about how bouncy these courts are in the last match, Crossy, and um, actually just yep. trying to get the ball low and, and dipping through is, is a real advantage to be able to get people yeah. to up on the ball. She looks to have done that quite well yeah. already in this first part. Yeah, she, okay. she looks pretty well adjusted here. Uh, I, I just caught the end of the boys' match, which you and, you and Chris were doing. Um, decent match, and obviously a big win for... For Abbey. Yeah, I think it was a notable win for Abbey that, you know, in terms of uh, quite a big ranking gap. Um, yeah. Certainly think Abbey is capable of playing to that level, and it's it's probably really nice for him to get a win on paper that demonstrates that. Um, yeah, it's a big big victory for him, that I feel. Mm. No, no messing around here from uh, Hannah. No, so we find ourselves straight away. That's a very, very quick first game. 11 2 to Hannah. Racing through, really attacking into the front at will, really, there. So if, if you're in the, uh, the coaching corner, Crossy, here, if you're uh, the winning, winning player, what, what kind of uh, tips and advice are you going to, going to give her? You know, I, think, I think there's a, a bit of a big gap in, in ranking points, obviously, here, and I think. If I'm in that corner there, I'm saying, you know, you've got to keep keep Hannah on court here as long as you can. Um, I think, you know, I'm thinking about maybe extend, trying to extend the rallies, get the ball past, uh, get a hitting out of the back a little bit more. Maybe a bit of nerves in the first game, coming up against the second seed. Uh, mm. But, you know, I think you've got to try and keep these players on court a little bit and uh, see if you can get out of it as much as you can, really. Mm. What, yeah, what, what kind experience. of things would, uh, yeah, uh, it's not it's not going to be easy, no, I think, um, but I think you've got to try and be competitive. Mm. Yeah, it's about it's about learning as well, isn't it? You want to be competitive, and I think you know if you're a young player, like each experience is going to add up, isn't it? And uh, the longer those experiences are, the more layers to it that you can get, the more it sets you up for the future as well. But Certainly here and now, you want to be competitive in the, in the moment as well, don't you? So, um, trying to stick around a little bit more, find the back corners, as you said, a little bit. Try and find a bit of quality in depth. Try and uh, build a few Yeah, I agree with you, yeah. Great. Yeah, just try and maybe extend these rallies just to an extra few shots. But so far, Hannah, she's just so good. I mean, that's good to chase that down, but she's just looking pretty sharp here at the moment. Mm, very clinical. Some good good time in there to the back of the court. Really like that volley. Good pace on it. Yeah, nice and straight. Just a little bit of court maintenance needed here. <laughs> yeah, help help put the uh, towel box back together. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree with you. That was great passage, and she's done that a number of times now, where she's found sort of a diagonal and a follow up on the volley, and um, it's it's a really uh, really punishing combination of shots, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's good. It's a good combination of like setting it up at the front, getting your opponent to lift, and then really taking advantage on the volley. I 
feel like anything short on the half court at the moment is just going to be severely punished. Yeah, it's the speed it's going in as well, isn't it, Crossy? It's not just going in, it's going in quickly as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's she's playing really well. Good though from from Shannon. It's good that she was able to pick up some of those ones at the front there and make that rally a little bit more competitive. Yes, yeah, showed better signs so far in this uh, this second game to the first. Settled down a little bit more. Kind of patterns of play a little bit to a greater extent. Yeah, just managing to extend the rally one or two extra shots, which is a little bit better. Oh. The tower box is, box is over broken again. again. Yeah. Need a bit of super glue. Get a little. Yeah, exactly. A little bit of glue to put it back together. Hold and then the cross opened up space nicely. Yeah, really difficult to pick up that. Nice little payback there from Shannon. Nice little one of her own. Leave it there on Hannah's forehand. Oh, third time the box has gone down this game. There we go. That was a bit quicker. <laughs> oh, it's gone again. The ref's having a word just to see if they can do anything else about it. Oh, the side's gone as well. well there we go, turn it around. That's good. Two love to uh, Sir Hannah, Hotel Zero, really good in CP. Uh, it was a better game than that from Shannon. She started to settle, she to show a few more options, get into her patterns a little bit. The rally's got a little bit longer. Um, that to show a bit more, a bit more intent. Yeah, Crossy, yeah, I agree. That again, was... like, again, Crossy, you know, there, there was a big improvement that from the first to the second edition. Is that again? We've got, got a bit more of an interesting uh, game on our hands in this third bit. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good for her to, to try and keep Hannah on court as much as possible. I think. Um, so yeah, if she can extend those rallies an extra couple of shots, she might she might get a little bit closer. Thing to watch out for is that that diagonal pattern that Hannah seems to be setting up at great frequency, and that well wish to open up the opportunity really. Uh, Really have volley from around the middle for you know, so you what yeah. you can start to like that, maybe with counters, maybe going straight you know, just having a few more options to not, to not keep that option away really. Yeah, that, that's that's very true. We'll see if she can do that in this game. Mm. Uh, 
right to start there. And then just a tight pin. Good variation up on the volley there to change that into the backhand side. In the first game she hit a few straight. Two, two rallies from Shannon here. A good return at first, and then a second, a good cross court with some good depth into the back. She can, uh, it's good as well. She can keep this up. Yeah, it's been uh, nice rallies here, even, ones, even that one where she's not come out the That's the quality of the rally. Yeah, more packs going. Yeah, she cr yeah, created a winning position and then just, just missed it, but she's got a bit of a reward. Eh? Trying to keep it competitive at 3 all. Yeah, it's going to be quite an important rally here. You don't want it to stretch any further. I'm going to try and keep Hannah within a couple of points dif difference. It's going to be difficult now. Six, three. I feel as the lead builds well across here. Just with, uh, Really yeah, it's, it's not not going to get any easier for the bigger this margin gets. Great shot from half court. Put away nicely on that forehand. Yeah, she's very rapid. She is, I know, when she gets going. Yeah, it was it was three all not so long ago, and it looked quite competitive, and then it's just kind of just steamrolled through. One match ball saved. Here. Oh, just missed it. So the number two seats through here, three games to love. Emphatic style, I think. Across you, what really stood out to me there was um, the speed of the points that, that Motes was able to rattle off. You know, it really was able to rattle off points very quickly when she got on top. And um, just during that last game, you know, from three all to the match balls in a matter of uh, less than a minute, you know, it's very, very quick. Um, any sort of closing yeah. uh, thoughts and reflections, Crossy? Yeah, I think that obviously Hannah's obviously going to be very happy with that. She's moving into tomorrow's quarter-final, where she should be nice and fresh. Yeah. I think that's the benefit of of this one of, of this match for her is that she'll go into that quarter-final very fresh. Um, as for Shannon, she probably wanted to be a little bit more competitive, but you know, it's okay. It's an experience, one in the bag. I'll take that forwards now and try and 
push on and see what she can do after that. Thanks, Crossy. I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, stay with us for uh, more live squash here in India. <laughs>